Yes. Get Come in, on. Come oh, on. yes. Come hey. on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Right, we are at Wentworth Golf Club because we have a very special day today, don't we? We have. We are hosting an audience with Sergio Garcia. We've never met him before, so we've got him for a Q&A on stage here at Wentworth. And then we're going to take him out on the golf course to actually play, well not play, walk some holes with him and maybe take him on in a couple of challenges. Yeah, he's my favourite golfer golf as well. Though. He is. So you're going to take him on today? Yes, I'm going to win. So, let's get in here and get started. European golfing legend, 2017 Masters champion and Ryder Cup superstar, Sergio Garcia. An even more daunting assignment, hard by the base of a tree. But with the fearless exuberance of youth, he made flush contact and then high-tailed up the hill after it, jumping just in time to see his ball find the putting surface. An incredible shot and one of the most remarkable shots in the annals of PGA Championship history. I just made the swing and when I hit it, I closed my eyes and I moved back just in case I hit the tree. And I saw the ball going just left of the, of the green with a little fade going to the green and it was, it was incredible. I mean, just going back to the shot, what, what on earth was going through your head when you are playing that? Well, it's... It's funny because at that moment you, you're, not, you're not thinking about what could go wrong, you know. Obviously, um, you know, I was, I was in the mix. I was, uh, I was fighting Tiger to, for the PGA Championship at Medina. Uh, I think I was one shot back at the moment, uh, something like that. So I was just focused in trying to get to the number to see if I could, uh, if I could beat him uh, or at least get to a playoff. What advice would you give to the 20 year old Sergio? <laughs> um, well, I would give him some, some advice, but funny enough, not too many, because I think at the end of the day, you know, making mistakes is a way of life. If you don't make any mistakes, you don't learn. And you have to, 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 to grow and to, to become uh, not only a better professional, but a better person. And, and you know, uh, you have to make some mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Um, nobody can go through life without making mistakes. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. That doesn't exist. So, so I think, uh, you know, there's a couple of things that more than saying don't do those things, I would say be careful when you do this or when you do that. But, but I, I, would, I would still love him to, to make some mistakes so he can learn from them and, and become a, a better person at the end of the day. All right, you're live on video there, guys. Sergio, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. Are we going to get a cheer from the crowd? Yeah, cheer. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was interesting, wasn't it? That was good. That was, uh, Sergio oh, nice. was relaxed. It was relaxed, wasn't it? Yeah, he's going to win the court rush, by the way. He's going to win. <laughs> yeah, he's going to win the Open now, anyway. But yeah, I mean, it was good. He was very open. Talked about a lot of stuff, the history. Mm. History with Adidas, but the history of his, his life, Seve, uh, you know, Olathabal. Um, you know, all the things that he's, he's done up to now. And it's still, it's crazy to think that I suppose he's really, he's probably classed as he's on the back end of his career. But really, you know, he's still got a lot left in him, don't you think, Pierce? really? I, yeah. definitely, I definitely think he's got an Open in him. I'd love to see him win an Open. So now we're on the course in a moment. We just did a bit of prep. We are going to be taking Sergio. See over there, they're on the tee setting up. Taking him down the first hole, playing a few shots, getting to maybe, maybe put him in some awkward situations and see how he gets out because he likes to be creative. And then do a few challenges on the next couple of holes. Sometimes the simpler, the simpler it is, the better it is, yeah. you know? Like I always say, we play our best when we think the least. You know, when you when you just thinking about the shot you want to hit, 
that's and that's the only thing you think that's that's usually the best when you're thinking about swing and this and bunker and whatever it is obviously you have to take to account the win and stuff but you know sometimes the less the the less you think the the better it is because you know the smoother the smoother your transition is you you're not you're not putting two things in your mind too many things in your mind so so ultimately it's about having a simple plan and sticking to it isn't it yes and committing to it yeah kind of like that um, I think for me, when it comes down to bunker shots, one of the most important things is to make sure that that you get a good acceleration through the through the shot. You know, sometimes you see you see. Uh, a lot of amateurs kind of like getting, like stopping, and and then and then the the sand kind of takes over, and then you know they leave it here, and then the next one they don't want to, they think that they need to hit it cleaner, and then they thin it over the green. So you have to hit sand. That's 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 what you have to do here on the bunkers. But the most important thing is to make sure that you accelerate through that through that shot. Competition now. So we're going to call onto the tee. I think we've got Peter Finch. Yeah. We've got uh, Seb, Seb on golf here, and then we've got <laughs> Annabelle. So if you'd like to join us on the tee. Thank you very much, Andy. Would you like to go first, Seb? Oh, here we go. I'm not going to say, I just hit a really good one in practice. Well. Oh, you practiced already? Yeah. You missed the green now. You practiced already. Yeah. I mean, what's up with that? I don't get I don't get a warm up, and these guys are 20 minutes here hitting shots. You don't need a warm up. <laughs> what's the What's the <laughs> Sergio, what was it? Ball back on my feet, stay in my stance. Sorry, what were you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's now down to Sergio. Oh, can you all the suspense Go. on that team there? That's Go. nice. I think. All right, what have we <laughs> What have we got? Oh, <laughs> he's happy, he's happy. Come on. Oh, Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. Should we clear the guys from that side of the green? Uh, We're all right, okay. I'll be the, yeah, be the ball, so, the ball, the ball handler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go like this. Okay, come on then, sir. What's the, what's the loft you got here? You got 60? 58. 58. Ah, it's a smart man. Wide open. Oh, I'll tell you what, i tell you what. Oh, yes. Come on. Come oh, on. yes. Come hey. on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> oh, it's me done, guys. <laughs> right. I'm leaving there. I'm not picking yeah. it up. Okay. Uh, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. We both say. Go on. Uh, you go. Okay. Uh, how good was that? Uh, whew, was so right. I'm going to go on about it again a little bit more about how much I've always said the surgery is going to win majors and he never did. Can we slow down a little, little bit. A little bit on my, on my I've got a bad leg He's actually. Got a flexor problem. And he is. He's just the nicest guy, and obviously he's a fantastic golfer as you just saw, but he is just, uh, it was a pleasure to be around, wasn't he? Because yeah, he's been pulled really. from everywhere today, and he handled this, you know, fantastically well. Yeah, he was. I mean, you know, to, like I said, to, to just be, he was just like one of the guys, wasn't he? And I think mm. with these people, I think for some reason, a lot of people, when they meet their idols, let's say some of these, you know, top level golfers, professional athletes, whoever it is, I think sometimes you, you almost expect them not to be nice, which is strange because yeah. actually, why sh why should you even do that? And some people yeah. say, "Oh, wasn't he nice? Wasn't he a nice guy?" As yeah. if he shouldn't be. But, <laughs> if he shouldn't be. Yeah, exactly, um, but yeah. Sergio was incredible, really, and you know, great to spend some time with him. Great to to get an insight of how he thinks on the golf course, but also an insight into his life off the golf course as well. So uh, massive thank you to him. Massive thank you to Adidas for asking us to down for the event, which was. Uh, a new experience for, for us as well, really. Yeah, we've not we've not done that much sort of stuff. We've done we've done plenty of stuff on stage like that, but not sort of interviewing someone like that. And I think for us, that's something obviously you want to do a little bit more of. And what a great person to do that with for the first person out the gate. Out the gate. Exactly. Who would you like to see us interview next? Post yeah. your comment down below. 
who should we see if we can get? Because that would be uh, that'd be good to get again, wouldn't it? It would be super. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like if you enjoy that video, and we'll see you next time.